Hello everybody. Thank you for watching. Really quick before we get into the video, I wanted to stop in and say that this is a No Paper Left Behind challenge. You'll hear me talk about it. And it was created by Daniela Hayes um, or brought into play by Daniela Hayes. And I'm going to link her and all of the other people that she has listed that's doing the challenge because I think it's a fabulous challenge. Community is important and it is extremely important to me. So when I asked to join the challenge and she was so enthusiastic and, and accepting about it, it just literally warmed my heart. Here is my challenge. It was quickly put together for fall using the Auburn Lane collection. And I'm going to show you Auburn Lane Paisley, Pink Paisley, the Auburn Lane collection. I had the, pa the six by eight paper pad and I had the washi tape, six sections of washi tape. Um, technically, I used some of the washi tape, but I didn't use that much of it. This is what I have left over that technically I could use. And these are my scraps. These are things that just really cannot be used anymore. So let's look at the actual cards and then we'll come back and I'll talk about the next set. You saw those cards. They're all the cut aparts that came out of the pads, the, the pieces of paper that came in the pad. I love doing that process first because then I don't miss. And my philosophy and thinking behind it is I don't want to run out of the background paper before I've used all of the cut aparts. So after I use the cut aparts, I then go to the Cricut machine and I analyze which ones I needed. So my husband kept telling me we needed sympathy cards and men birthday cards. So I sat down and to, at the Cricut machine and I printed out a ton of little circles. You'll see these right here. I printed out a ton of the circles with different sayings in them. And I designed a whole bunch of different cut aparts. Um, so I'm making my own cut aparts on the Cricut. So the Cricut sends it through my printer, prints it out, and then it sends it through the machine and it cuts the circles. It cuts any shape you want. It literally does everything. And then I take them back to the drawing board and we start a whole new set of cards. And to see all of these, watch below, or watch now, or watch here. Watch.
So now you've seen me using the cut aparts with backgrounds, now going to the Cricut and making my own cut aparts with, with sayings that I want, and the back, using backgrounds. Now we're going to be talking about the final few pieces of cards. I like using as much as I can because sometimes those cards that you use at the very end is where your creative juices really start to flow. So for me, I have six cards that I absolutely thought I was throwing together, but I end up loving. I mean, like really loving. So for me, these are the last few bits of cards. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you right here. I'm gonna show you right here. was I had a lot of strips left over and they were anywhere from eight inch strips to even less. So I used every single one of those strips that were, I cut them all down to four inches and I just layered them up on the card. So single layer, just lining them up and then gluing them down as strips and then putting backgrounds, circles, just taking some extra paper, putting the circles. I really made my Cricut work for me. I mean, like I, I, I went in and I will be sharing these programs, these files that I made. If they, if I do, it'll be in the link below. I'll give you the public address for it. I know some people are saying, what's a Cricut? Why do you have, why do you have bugs in your house? It's the best bug in the world. Trust me, you want one. If you don't have a Cricut, and you have a silhouette, same thing. They do slightly different things, but same thing. Someday I might have a silhouette. I do like that they have, they complement each other. There's no competition in this world, just complimenting. So I got six of those cards and I actually really like these cards so much better than just the plain ones. Ironic, I know, just really weird, but I do like them. So now let's get to the nitty gritty of it. And for that, we have my notes. Each card in this pack was 25 cents. So how did I get to that figure of 25 cents? Um, for the Auburn Lane, I used two white sheets of cardstock, which totals 10, 10 cents total, one 12 by 12 pink sheet, which was five cents, and one brown. So I that was so I have 20 cents in extra cardstock, and then I had 
18. So out of the 40 sheets of cardstock that I bought for $2.19 at Tuesday mornings, um, I only used 18 of them. And I used them to make the actual cardstock base. So I used them to make the cardstock base and folded them. Um, and that ended up being a dollar's worth of paper from there. So the paper pad was $3.99. The washi tape, six washi tapes were also $3.99. So I included them in the price just because I was using them. I did use them on about maybe seven or eight cards. And I used 18 sheets of white cardstock. Now, I buy just basic white cardstock. And these come with envelopes. So these end up being $1.80. They're 10 cents a card plus envelope. So for $1.80, I got um, card and envelope. I used 18 of them. And that was the white cardstock. I got 48 cards. I added a dollar for glue because really, I didn't even use a dollar's worth of glue. Yes. I actually total up how much glue I used. And I got 25 cents for a card. If I took the washi tape out, it would actually have been 17 cents. And it was $11.98 total for this project. Total for the project. So I wanted to thank you for watching. Please, like I said, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell that's down there in the corner. Um, just so that you can get notified when I release. I release videos, if there are going to be videos, they're on Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, and they usually come out at 8 in the morning, so you can have your morning coffee with me. I do love my coffee. Um, like, literally, seriously love my coffee. In fact, I'm trying to find a milk frother. Um, I searched Tuesday mornings for a milk frother, and we couldn't find one. I was very, quite depressed. You would think of all places with their espresso machines and their coffee machines, they would have a milk frother. Tuesday mornings, get in on that. So this was for the no paper left behind for the October challenge. My next challenge, I've got to work on Christmas cards. My husband reminded me Christmas cards. Don't forget Christmas cards. So next one will have to be Christmas cards. Thank you for watching. You guys have an absolutely fabulous day and we shall talk to you later. Bye.